Welcome to this month's Nature's Calling. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Summer's in full swing and the fish are biting. That's right, the Missouri Department of Conservation encourages you to discover nature by teaching someone how to fish. Fishing is a traditional activity in Missouri and one that is easily shared with friends and family of all ages. <laughs> Children who learn to fish also learn to respect wildlife and the outdoors. Studies show kids who experience outdoor activities like fishing experience less stress and improve grades and health. If you don't have fishing gear, we offer rod and rail loaner programs throughout the state uh, at our regional offices through many of the county libraries around the state so you can pick up free fishing gear uh, to try it out. You can find a lake near you by downloading and using the free Mo Fishing app available for iPhone and Android users. Once you're through fishing, why not stick around the water and try another popular Missouri pastime, frogging. Frogging spans the gap between hunting and fishing. Missouri is home to two species that may legally be harvested, bullfrogs and green frogs. Frogs can be found in almost any place with water, farm ponds, rivers, and swampy areas. A bright flashlight and headlamp are essential tools for frogging so as a bag with a drawstring to hold your fare. There is no other game animal that gives people a wide range of legal methods to take than frogging does. You can use your hands, a hand net, a gig, bow, or a pellet gun to name a few. Frogging season runs through October 31st. While you're outside enjoying a nice hike and taking in some rays, why not take some time and discover nature and learn more about the colorful collared lizard. Found throughout the Ozarks, the eastern collared lizard has a chunky head, long tail, and a black collar behind the head. These nifty lizards always generate interest because males are so colorful, especially during mating season. Male collared lizards are more colorful than females during the breeding season from mid-May to July. They display colors of blue and green on their legs, tail and belly, and a brightly colored orange throat in order to help attract a female collared lizard during the breeding season. The eastern collared lizard lives among rocks on dry, open, rocky glades where it can take shelter under flat rocks. These quick lizards were once widespread on Missouri's glades, but their numbers dropped when humans began to suppress fire, causing their sunny homes to become overgrown with shade trees. Since the Missouri Department of Conservation began to restore the glades to their original nature, the lizards have been able to make a comeback. For more information on fishing, frogging, and collared lizards, visit mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for watching, and remember, nature's calling. Get out and enjoy Missouri's outdoors.